Hello, my college football friends out there. Welcome to the Buckeye Vinny YouTube channel show. Let's get this started. My friends, today's show is going to be about Monday night's national championship game between the 13-1 Alabama Crimson Tide versus the 13-1 Georgia Bulldogs. And my friends, what a game this should be. For Alabama, they had a typical Alabama season. What more can you say by legendary coach Nick Saban? Bama, again, finishing 13-1, and winning the SEC, actually beating Georgia to win the SEC. And Bama's only defeat this year, if you recall, was that thrilling game in Texas A&M. A&M winning that game 41-38. to On the other side, we are looking at the Georgia Bulldogs, coached by Kirby Smart, a very, very good football coach, to say the least. He brought this team a phenomenal season, without a doubt, and we need to talk about this, by far the best defense in all of college football, that's right, goes to the Georgia Bulldogs. Now, Georgia's run to the championship, which will be Monday, was a 34-11 to thumping of the Michigan Wolverines. Bama's run was a 27-6 to victory over Cincinnati Bearcats. For me, my friends, uh, Georgia impressed me way more with the way they handled Jim Harbaugh and the Michigan Wolverines compared to the way Nick Saban and the Alabama Crimson Tide dealt with the Cincinnati Bearcats. Now, for me, that Cincinnati Bearcat-Bama game started off very, very good, started off as a defensive battle, and... Cincinnati, through the first two quarters, two and a half quarters, they were in that game. I thought since he put up a good fight, it just seemed like Alabama could not throw the knockout punch until the fourth quarter to finally put the Bearcats and Luke Fickle away. Obviously, like I said, Bama went on to win that game 27-6. to some of the stats in that game, Bryce Young played a good game, not a great game. Bryce Young was 17 out of 28, 181 yards passing, three touchdowns through the air, and one interception. Let's be honest with you. For me, my friends, what won this game, without a doubt, was Brian Robinson Jr., 25 carries, 198 yards on the ground. Trey Sanders, 15 carries for 73 yards on the ground. So between that one-two punch of those running backs, Robinson Jr. And, and Sanders, you know, if it wasn't for them stepping up this game, Cincinnati might have had a better shot in this game. They are also, we cannot forget about Ja'Cory Brooks, very good stand-up wideout. He caught four passes for 66 yards and a touchdown. And Jameson Williams caught seven grabs for 62 yards against Cincinnati. So without Menchie in this game, Menchie is a standout wide receiver for Bama who got injured a few weeks ago. Without him... Brooks and Williams must, must step up big if they're going to want to win this game. On the flip side, Stetson Bennett. This young man has been consistent all season long for the Georgia Bulldogs. Big reason why Georgia is 13-1 and and playing in the national championship game. Stetson's stats look this way against Michigan. 21 out of 31, 310 yards three touchdowns, and did not turn the ball over. Their running backs look this way. Zamir White rushed the ball 12 times for 54 yards, 
and they have another very good running back, James Cook. Now, James Cook can not only do it running the ball, but he is a splendid running back coming out of the backfield and has some really good sure hands, and he will make a difference in this game, in my opinion, Monday night. They are led by wide receivers Brock Bowers, who caught five grabs for 55 yards and a touchdown versus the Wolverines. Kenny McIntosh caught three balls for 32 yards. And again, James Cook caught four balls for 112 yards and one touchdown. This James Cook is explosive, my friends, to say the least. He has track speed, so when he breaks the secondary, color him gone. No one's the secondary safeties, corners will not catch him. This man, again, not only can do it on the ground, but he can do it catching the ball out of the backfield. I will give a prediction at the end of this video who I believe will win this game. Now, when you mention Alabama, my friends, let's be honest, they are no strangers to the national championship game. You're looking at Bama. Bama won it in 2009, 2011, 2012. Do you see where I'm getting at? They also won it in 2015. They lost in 2016. And they beat Georgia in overtime. I'll never forget that game. In 2017, they beat Georgia 26-23. 2018, Clemson beat Bama. 44 to 16, and just last year, the 2020 season, Bama put a hurting on my Buckeyes, 52 to 24. So, my friends, if you look at that, without a doubt, again, Bama rich in tradition football, again, no strangers to the national championship game, and not just getting to it, but winning it. For Georgia, I just mentioned Georgia's last championship appearance was 2017, again, where they lost to Bama 26-23 in that thrilling overtime game. But again, Georgia, a totally different team from that 2017 year. What more can you say? Kirby Smart, a very, very good football coach, a very good X's and O coach. I'm just going to say this. When the strength will probably go, in my opinion, each team has some strength, they have some weaknesses, but my gosh, my friends, when I looked over both of these powerhouse football teams, there's not many weaknesses to Alabama, and there's definitely not that many weaknesses to Georgia. I'm just going to say this, the offense, I'm going to have to give the check mark to Alabama, led again by Bryce Young. Brian Robinson Jr., Trey Sanders, Brooks, Williams, they are loaded on offense. I will have to get the nod, though, to Georgia having the better defense. You know, when I seen what Georgia did to the Michigan Wolverines, a very good Michigan Wolverine football team that put up 42 against the Buckeyes and also came back and put up 42 against the Iowa Hawkeyes in the Big Ten Championship game. That really, really impressed me. 84 points in two games. And then Georgia held Michigan to only 11 points in that game. And actually, the late touchdown, you know, that, that game was already over with, and Michigan scored that very late touchdown in the fourth quarter. So, looking at that, without a doubt, Georgia has had the best defense all season long. We have to look at this also, my friends. We know that in the SEC championship game, Alabama put quite the hurting on Georgia, 41-27. to So if you don't think there's a little revenge factor here, there's no doubt there is. My prediction, now we all know Georgia is favored by right around 2.5 to 3 points. I know a lot of skeptics out there are saying, why is Georgia favored? I'm going to tell you why. Number one, the way Georgia handled a very good Michigan Wolverine offense, that's one reason. 
Number two, let's be honest with you, my friends. Bama did not beat Cincinnati in blowout fashion like many people thought they would do. Okay? Yes, 27 to 6, I get it. Bama won by 21 points. But, you know, when you stop and look at that game, Cincinnati would refuse to go away. If you turn some of those field goals into touchdowns for the Bearcats, it could have been a different game, to say the least. Again, my friends, my prediction right here, Buckeye Vinny predicts that the Georgia Bulldogs will get revenge from that 41-27 to setback in the SEC championship game. Georgia Bulldogs will win this game. I'm just going to throw out a score. I believe it's going to be somewhere around 35 to 31, 35 to 28, right around there. But yes, Georgia Bulldogs will get the revenge from that setback loss to Bama. Again, my friends, Georgia 35, Bama 31. If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you are new to my channel, please click on the subscribe button. And like always, I want to read your comments. You comment down below. Like always, peace out. God bless. I'm out of here.